started making these toothpick holders. You can see they're nice, tall, simple things. And it's got the uh, large bore in there for the toothpicks. And I make uh, caps that take uh, regular corks. It's a nice little package. The issue I ran into is I like to turn these, as you see this, and I just cut it off the faceplate, off the waist block, I should say, that was on the faceplate. And now I want to turn the foot. But, how to hold this becomes the issue. So what I ended up doing is I made what effectively is an uh, expansion chuck. It starts with a piece of aluminum like this, just a hunk of one inch bar stock. And this is about six inches long. And I cut this V into it, as you can see. And a line of uh, my bandsaw away from that V. I took the V piece and I cut the ends off. I guess I should say first though, before I cut the V, <laughs> I drilled a hole all the way through. That's a clearance hole for a quarter twenty red. So now that I have this piece cut and it will fit in there, I now have the quarter twenty red and a wing nut. The wing nut I had to shave the uh, wings down a little bit so that it didn't extend beyond the diameter of this piece. And the way it works is, I put this on like so, run this up through the center, and secure it with a nut and a washer. Now I make the holes in my toothpick holder actually two diameters. Uh, the primary one is one inch diameter, and up near the top part of the hole, I drill uh, one and a sixteenth. And that's because the corks just fit better in that diameter. So it's a two-stage hole, and what I've got here is a two-stage diameter. This is one inch, and to fit into the one inch hole, I had to machine a little bit off. So this diameter is a little bit smaller than one inch, it just slides right in. And then to bump up the outside, instead of cutting a ring groove and putting an O-ring, which I could have done, I simply wrap some uh, electrical tape around there. And so what will happen now is that will fit right in there and this is a nice jam fit for this diameter. Now when I tighten this nut it will spread that chuck out a little bit and it'll hold it in there. And I'll show you on the lathe next how this will work. Now we're on the lathe. You see I have my chuck with the uh, spindle jaws on it. These are, I don't know what they're really called, but they're the small ones. Often used to hold on the inside of holes, but they're not small enough to hold the inside of this one inch hole, so that's why I came up with this. On the other hand, they will hold this diameter very nice uh, from the uh, chuck that I made. So let's put this in here and uh, tighten it up. And now, you see that I will, it'll spin this very nicely and I will be able to uh, turn that foot. I'll uh, angle you down a little bit, excuse my jumpiness here, but you can see now I can just uh, turn that foot and uh, it's held nice and rigidly, so uh, I'm ready to go. I thought you'd enjoy that. Now, of course, you can scale this for whatever you happen to be making and uh, use the appropriate size uh, metal rod. You could probably use wooden dowels but obviously they won't be as stiff. Also if you use wooden dowels that would be good for one or two usage but as you clamp it repeatedly in the vise you'll probably put divots in there and it'll start going out around on you. Uh, just something else uh, to give you a solution for turning issues.